If you're a fan of top-down adventure games, Tunic might have already been on your radar, and thanks to the Steam Next Fest, we finally have our first taste of the game. Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, one half the team behind Legacy Gaming, and today we're checking out Tunic and sharing if we think it's worth a look. If you didn't already know, our Worth a Look series is equivalent to a first impressions. We haven't spent dozens of hours with the game and we won't be leaning hard into the edit because today it's all about the information and if this game is worth keeping an eye on. Tunic has already been in the works for a few years now. It's an incredibly ambitious isometric adventure title being developed by a singular person, Andrew Scholdice, and it's definitely shaping up to be a unique experience. At its core, the game is about discovery. Even in the limited demo we got to play, it was clear that very little is there to guide you on your adventures, and it's up to you to navigate the world, discover its secrets, and unfold the story in real time. Some people are really going to like this hands-off approach, but for others, possibly more casual players, the lack of direction will be frustrating. It's impossible to tell if there will be more guidance in the final release, but I doubt it, because that feeling of the unknown is part of what gives the game its charm. You start off at square one, waking up on the edge of a world you know nothing about, and slowly you begin to piece together what you need to do. Much like similar games in the genre, secrets are plentiful, but because of your limited tools and skill set, you won't be able to reach them right from the get-go. With trial and error, you'll find your first weapon, a simple stick, and with that in hand, combat now becomes a reality. I found that Tunic's hack and slash style of fighting was a bit slower than most other games, but it felt intentional, which I really liked. At the start, you have a stick and the ability to dodge roll, but after just a bit of exploration, you pick up a short sword, and then eventually a shield. This is the holy trinity, because you have the ability to attack, defend, and dodge, and they're all pivotal to surviving in the world. What I will say is that survival isn't guaranteed, and I actually found myself struggling at certain points in the demo. It's not egregiously hard, but there's a level of challenge to Tunic that I wasn't quite expecting. A lot of this comes down to the enemy design, which goes well beyond just a simple melee attack or a ranged projectile. Even these early enemies tapped into a number of different mechanics, and I really enjoyed that. Adding some depth to the combat is the ability to lock onto targets and maintain that lock as you duke it out. You can even change targets on the fly, which is important because multiple enemies are often a thing. Is this groundbreaking? No, not even in the slightest, but it works well given the scope of the game. Tunic surprised me in a number of different ways, from the combat, which is simple and effective, to the world design. The overworld is bright and vibrant, and given the game's unique polygon art style, it manages to strike a number of different tones, all while feeling unified. What was the real surprise was the underworld and the various caves and tunnels I explored during the demo. I was really impressed with how well the world manages to change in such a short period of time. And while it didn't really explain what my purpose was in the game, it really helped me connect with my experience and the world around me. Another delightful surprise was these illustrated cards that gave you a bit more insight into the game. It's almost like finding pages of a walkthrough mid-game. It goes beyond just a basic tutorial, sometimes providing a layout of the world, other times just explaining a simple mechanic, but they're brilliantly illustrated and really help further the game's charm. While it's impossible to say given the nature of this particular demo, I'd say that Tunic has a lot more secrets yet to be uncovered, and while we've only just scratched the surface of the game, I'm excited to see what else Shuldice has managed to create. With games like Death Store proving that this genre is far from dead, I'm just looking forward to a fresh take on the isometric adventure genre. It's clear that Tunic has many surprises to discover, but at what depth, we still don't know. As a quick wrap-up, Tunic is a charming isometric adventure game that relies heavily on exploration and environmental storytelling. Leading hard into those two elements, while also mixing in some simple yet engaging combat, is working for the game, and it's definitely worth keeping an eye on if this is the type of title you normally enjoy. Unfortunately, we don't know when Tunic is being released in full, but if this demo is any indication, we may actually be closer to the finish line than we originally thought. So there you have it, our first impressions of Tunic. There's a lot of promise here, and while it's all tied together in a pretty simple package, I think players that normally enjoy these types of games will definitely want to keep an eye on Tunic. Of course, words are great, but testing something for yourself is even better. You can try Tunic right now for free during the Steam Next Fest, which runs until October 7th, 2021. If you guys enjoyed this video and you do want to help us out, hit that thumbs up and subscribe, and be sure to check back in for future videos in your feed. 
My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.